Good morning, physics-y people. Uh, I am learning a lot about myself as a teacher, and I really don't like just telling people how stuff works. I like for you all to get to play with it and see that. So this is challenging for me. I don't, I don't like this. But anyway, uh, today's lesson is about light polarization. You, It might be something you're familiar with. It's a fairly simple topic and stuff, but it's one where I normally uh, give you these things that look kind of boring and just let you play with them. And then all of a sudden, a kid student, oh, what, just happened? what just happened here? Right? And uh, um, and then I give you other stuff to play with it with, and you see that. I don't know how well you'll be able to see what's going on here. It's kind of a cloudy day, uh, but you can kind of see that a little bit. Um, but uh, I had stumbled across a little video from Physics Girl, and she goes into – she does a really nice job of it. She has better equipment than I do and better cameras and all that. Uh, and I know she doesn't have the sweet, glorious stash that I do right now, but um, she does a nice job. I'm not really concerned about the biology part of it, where they talk about some animals being able to see different things and stuff. Just kind of how do the polarizers work? What do they get used for? Uh, all that kind of stuff um, on that. Uh, today's the last day on light. We're not going to do a big cumulative quiz on it. Uh, what we've typically done with these units is little daily things and stuff. And then, uh, just to kind of introduce you to those things and then um uh we'll get, get you some points along the way and that kind of stuff i need to look at how many points we did through light i might go back and make some of those things worth a few more points to help you know because i want it to count for a little something but i don't want to have like a big cumulative test on it we're just trying to do like introduce introduction exposure levels so uh after today we'll switch over to electricity again that's a thing i usually just give you a bunch of wires and batteries and have you start building stuff and and that kind of thing. It's a lot more fun, but instead we'll have you um, do a lot of those things in simulations and that kind of stuff. And then I'll, I'll build some things and show you how some things work and that kind of stuff. It's not the same, but uh, hopefully it works. Uh, on the grade note, if your grade's not where you want it, as long as you're doing everything and getting pretty good scores on most of the stuff, I know you might not get five out of five every day, but there, you know, we should be getting most of the points on the daily things. Cause I'm, I'm helping you out with those a good bit. If you're doing those quite a bit and you're, you know, you know, you're, you're getting four out of fives on them and you're sitting at a D or something at the end of the semester, which I don't think many of us are, but um, I'll help you out a little bit because I know there's not as many points available and I don't want to have great big, huge tests and stuff like that while y'all are at home. So uh, as long as you're doing the daily stuff, uh, you know, we should be in pretty good shape. If you have missed a daily thing along the way, log into the Google Meet and we'll, I can open that back up for you, but I don't want that to be the standard, right? So don't work a week behind, work work day of. Uh, a few of us are working a little bit behind there. Anyway, uh, hope you're having a good time. Uh, you're not having a good time. Hopefully you're making it through this and, uh, and the lights at the end of the tunnel kind of thing. Anyway, talk to you later.